Hello, hello, welcome to Exercise with Exos. Super excited to get our, our nice workout this afternoon. Uh, my name is Jazzy, health fitness specialist with Exo Autodesk, and we're going to go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and explain everything we're going to do, and then we'll go into our warm up section, and then we'll get right into the circuit. So today, we are going back. I have not done this in a long time, but I figured right now was a good time to bring it back. So we're going to be spelling out a word today. Again, I know it's been a long time, but since I figured it's summertime, we're going to spell summer today. So we got S-U-M-M-E-R coming on up. So I'll go ahead and explain that we are doing 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest today. So that's going to be our timing. Um, but we're going to start off with our S, which is going to be squats. So we're going to do some overhead squats today. So we're going to have our arms straight above head here. We want those shoulder blades pulled down and back. Ears are away from the shoulders. And we're keeping those arms overhead, squatting down knees past. Oh, my goodness. Knees past the second toe, making sure we're keeping our balance, squeezing and standing right back up. If you'd like to challenge yourself, you can always grab something and hold on to that while we're doing those. That's going to be um, exercise number one. So that's the S. And then for the U, we're going to do some V ups. So we're going to lay all the way on the ground, arms and legs stretched out, crunching up, touching the toes and back down. Exhaling as we come up, keeping that low back plastered into the ground as those legs extend. So that's the U here. For the first M, we're going to do marching. So normally, right, we do march with opposite arm, opposite leg. But this time we're gonna have our arms over our head and march. So we're gonna get a little bit of shoulder work in that way. Still getting those knees up, 90 degree angles here using that core. So that's the first M. And then the second M, we're gonna get back on the ground. We're gonna do some glute bridge marching. But what we're gonna do here is once we get to the top here, we're gonna lift the knee, extend, squeezing through the quad, back down, extend, back down. So instead of really marching, we're really just extending those legs. So that's for the second M. And then the third, the third M, there's not three M's in summer, my bad. <laughs> for the next exercise, for the E, we're gonna do eccentric push-ups. So definitely wanna challenge ourselves today and be from the toes. Shoulders are gonna be above the wrists. Keeping those elbows nice and tight, lower yourself one, two, three, to the ground and get back up however you need to. Or again, if you would really like to challenge yourself, you can always push, go back into a push up. I will be lowering myself onto the ground. All right. And then lastly, for the R, we're going to do alternating reverse lunges. So stepping back and behind, squeezing, standing back up, pushing the whole foot through the ground away from us. So that's going to be our circuit today. So we're going to go through that three times 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, and we are spelling summer. So I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with it today. So we can go ahead and get started with our warm up. We're gonna go ahead and bring it to the top of our space for the world's greatest stretch. So nice big deep breath, interlace those fingers, grab the knee, pulling it towards the chest. Nice big deep breath into the belly. Exhaling, stepping back into the reverse lunge, back leg stays straight, hands on the inside of that front foot here. While keeping that back leg nice and straight, we're gonna take a big inhale. And on the exhale, we're opening up towards the ceiling. So my left foot is in front, so my left hand is towards the ceiling. We're gazing past our thumb. And on the next exhale, placing that hand on the outside of the front foot, pushing ourselves up into that hamstring stretch. Get our body as close to the knee as we can. And exhaling, bringing our feet together and standing on up. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do that same thing on the other side now. And those lace those fingers, grab the right knee, pulling the right, sorry, left knee towards the chest. Nice big deep breath. On the exhale, stepping back, keeping the back leg straight. Hands on the inside of that front foot. Nice big deep breath. Keep that back leg nice and straight. Exhaling right hand now towards the ceiling. Gazing past the thumb, getting that rotation in through the spine. And exhaling, placing that hand on the outside of the front foot, pushing ourselves up into the hamstring stretch. And exhaling, left foot next to the right foot, stand on up. 
Awesome. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and make our way onto the ground here for some quadruped rocking, getting our hips nice and warmed up as well as our core. So bringing those knees onto those hips, hands under the shoulders, keeping that core tight. We're gonna rock back, glutes to heels and come back to center. So we wanna make sure we're squeezing the glutes, we're lifting with the legs here. We're not coming back forward with the low back or the chest. So staying nice and even through the back. You can even bring those knees a little bit wider if you'd like a little bit of an extra hip stretch. Awesome job, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and do one more here, rocking back, loose to heels, squeezing and coming back up. Awesome. All right, we can go ahead and get started. So that first um, exercise is going to be the S, which is gonna be overhead squats here. We're spelling out summer, 30, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, three, two, one, and go. So hands above the head, we're squatting down. We wanna keep our weight evenly distributed across our whole foot, making sure we're squeezing our glutes, squeezing the quads, using our legs here. We wanna make sure that when we get to that standing position, our back is flat, our hips are under our shoulders. We don't wanna be pushing those hips forward, creating the arch in our back. Our back is nice and flat the whole time here, hands facing each other. Keep on breathing, we're almost there. Getting some good hip work in, three, two, one, all right, next up here, we have our V-ups for the U. So we're gonna have our arms and legs spread out. We're gonna crunch up, touch our toes. So getting our whole upper body off the ground as high as we can here. All right, three, two, one. So we're all the way stretched out, exhaling, coming back to center, making sure that we are using our core and not those hip flexors. If this movement is hurting your hips like it's hurting mine, <laughs> you don't have to go down as far into that hip um, for the legs going down. You can go as far as feels comfortable. You also can always come back on the hands and extend and crunch this way if that feels better for you. Whatever's available to you today, so what I'd like you to do, three, two, one. All right, we are standing back up for our first M. We're doing marches. We're gonna have our hands overhead for these, switching it up today. We're getting a lot of shoulder work in without having to do a lot of push-ups and planks. So three, two, one. Hands above head, just like with our squats here, getting our knees up. We want 90 degrees in the hips and in the knees. If we wanna pretend like we got a, a piece of glass around our hips, we're breaking that glass with the knee. So we're exploding up, punching the ground away from us with our feet, coming right back up. Should be a little bit harder of a movement. We're really driving those knees up, using that core, still breathing. Awesome. We're almost there, keep pushing. Three, two, one. All right, back to the ground. We're doing more marches, but we're really doing it in the glute bridge here. But we're also gonna extend at the knees. So we get a little bit of extra quad work in there today. All right, getting ready in three, two, one. So we're, instead of marching here, we're gonna march a little bit. We're kicking our knee out. So making sure that we are keeping our core nice and tight so our pelvis is tucked, our core is engaged, our glutes are engaged. So if you need to remind yourself where you should be engaged, you can always place your hands wherever you need to to make sure you are squeezing the correct muscles properly. Great job, keep pushing, keep those hips up as high as we can without overarching our back. Three, two, one. All right. Up next, we have our eccentric push-ups for the E in summer. So we're gonna lower ourselves nice and slow onto the ground. 
one, two, three, or three, two, one, whatever's easier to count wise, and then getting up however you need to. If you're doing it from the knees, three, two, one. So we're doing this movement from the knees. We wanna make sure that we're keeping our hips in line with our shoulders here. We are slowly lowering towards the ground. Elbows are staying as close to our body as we can. And we're ending um, a nice way to think about this is if you're pushing a door open, your hands are starting here at the bottom of your rib cage, and then you're pushing out in front of you. So that's the way we want to be pushing the ground away from us, acting like it's a door. Three, two, one. All right, next up, last part of this circuit. And then we're going to do that two more times. We got reverse lunges. We're going to alternate between our legs, stepping back and coming forward we want to make sure that we aren't stepping directly behind ourselves but out to the side a little bit more three two one so stepping back coming back up to standing our chest is above the arch of our foot pressing the ground away from us heel big toe little toe like a tripod controlling our breathing we're moving as fast as we need to, but we still want to focus on that intent. So what muscles do we want to be feeling here? We want to make sure we're feeling the quads, we're feeling the glutes, and we're feeling our core. So focusing on what we need to be feeling here. Three, two, one. All right, awesome job. Round one is done. We got two more to go. Overhead squats are coming up next. If any point in time, Luis did put the workout in the chat. So if you really want to visualize how we're spelling out summer, you can always look at that. Three, two, one. Arms above head. We're squatting down, making sure our back is nice and flat, going as low as we can with good form here. I decided today would be a good day to tell summer because it's supposed to be 90 degrees here. Yay. Love the heat. But also, the first day of summer is on Sunday, so we gotta celebrate the longest day of the year, aka the best day of the year. As we all may know by now that I love the heat. Great job, everyone. Three, two, one. All right, onto the ground. We got V ups. So we're gonna extend arms and legs all the way out crunch up, touching the toes, or you can come back on those hands a little bit and bring those knees in, whatever's most comfortable. Three, two, one. Exhaling, coming up, the legs go down as far as they are able to with good form and hopefully with minimal pain. Oh man, should have thought this through before I put these in here today. If anyone knows what snapping hip syndrome is, this is not very fun if you have it. Great job, everyone. Keep pushing, use that core. Three, two, one. All right, up next, we have our marches overhead for our first M. Oh, okay, we're getting ready, crushing it. Three, two, one. Hands are overhead, bringing those knees up so our core is engaged. We're driving our knees up through that glass that's around our hips. We're punching the ground away from us. Let's punch, 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 making sure that we are being Explosive and forceful here. I want to get the most out of our marches here today. It's actually really good if you would like to work on your running mechanics. This is a great way to start off a run. It's getting some marches in. Three, two, one. All right. Awesome job, everyone. Back onto the ground. We're doing the glute bridge. March with the knee extension here today. 
Okay, getting on our backs, getting ready for that. Three, two, one. So hips are high up in the air, kicking one leg out at a time, making sure we're being careful to not overextend that knee. We're straightening our leg using our quads here. So if you're not sure if you're using your quads enough, you can always place your hand on the muscle, again, that we are intending to use here, focusing on intent, executing the movement, getting the most out of this workout today. Y'all are doing awesome. Three, two, one. All right. We got our eccentric push ups next, and then reverse lunges, and then we're back at the top for one more round. Big deep breath here. Three, two, one. So we're slowly lowering ourselves towards the ground. If you would like to push yourself up, go ahead and challenge yourself there. But if you normally do these from your knees, I challenge yourself to go from the toes. We want to make sure our chest and our hips are hitting the ground at the same time. So that way we're using the core and our back muscles to keep everything tight. Great job. You know, push-ups can be a little tough, especially if you go to workout Wednesday, boot camp with Luis and my classes. Three, two, one. Okay. We got reverse lunges. And then we got one more round. And then we'll go do a nice cool down. I guess cool is being relative because it's not cool outside, so we can't really cool down, but we'll get our heart rate down. That's what we'll call it. Three, two, one. So we're stepping back, alternating our feet here, making sure we're not stepping too far back or too much behind our um, front foot. So we wanna be again, out to the side a little bit and making sure that our back knee is bending, our chest, is above the arch of our front foot. Awesome job, keep up the great work, keep pushing. We only got one more round after this. Doing awesome. Three, two, one. All right, last round coming on up. We got overhead squats coming up next. All right, getting ready here in three, two, one. Hands overhead, going through that checklist, keeping that back flat, core tight, push the ground away from us. Keeping those arms as high as we can, reaching for the ceiling. Keep that breath up, everyone. Great job. Keep pushing. Focus on the movement, on the intent here. Almost there. Three, two, one. All right. Back to the ground. We got the V-ups. So again, you can either do straight arm, straight leg coming up or hands to the ground, bringing those knees in. Whatever feels best for you today. Three, two, one. Exhaling, bring ourselves up with our core. We got an apple here. We're gonna crush that apple, pushing that belly button into the ground. Really exhaling to come back up. Making sure that we, when we're extending our legs, our low back is not coming off the ground. We want it to be nice and flat. So only go as far. You can three, two, one. Okay. We got our overhead marches. Our first end in summer. 
I wish I knew the that song from Frozen about it being summertime. If anyone knows what I'm talking about. Three, two, one. Hands overhead, we're marching, punching the ground away from us. Get that breathing down. We're being aggressive with the knee drive. Drive those knees up, break that glass. Use the core. We got this. We're almost there. We only got three more movements after this, and then we're gonna cool our bodies down. Do some nice stretches, make sure we're gonna recover well from this workout. Three, two, one. All right, onto the ground again, on our backs. We got glute bridge marches with the knee extension. Get a little quick 10 second nap in here while we're on our backs if you need to. Three, two, one. Hips are high. We are marching. Oh, I forgot the extension. So we're extending one knee at a time, keeping our core engaged, our glutes engaged. I am getting nice and sweaty. I don't know about y'all. Always feels so nice to get a good sweat in. If you're with me this morning, we already got a nice sweat in. We're doing all the sweating today. We can sweat just going outside today. It's great. Three, two, one. All right. We only got two more movements here. We got our eccentric push ups, and then we got our reverse lunges. And then we're done with the workout. Three, two, one. So if you're on your knees last two times, challenge yourself, go from the toes, chest and hips hitting at the same time, keeping those elbows in. We're doing great. Well, push ups can be hard sometimes. Oh, we're doing awesome. So we make sure those hands are screwed into the ground, which is going to lock and load our shoulder blades. Three, two, one. All right. Last movement here reverse lunges. And then we're going to cool down just started dripping everywhere. Three, two, one, last movement here. And they're not burpees today. So don't ever say I never did anything for y'all. It's too hot for burpees today. We're in a little bit of a different work. I'll say there also are no bees in summer. So you should think Whoever created the word summer for not putting any bees in there. Oh, I could have done summer break. Then we would have had burpees. We're just spelling summer today. That would be a fun way to switch it up because it's been since December since I've done this. Three, two, one. We are done with exercise with exos for the week. Great job. Way to push yourselves today, everyone. Get a sip of water if you need it. And we're gonna make our way onto the ground for our cool down here. We're gonna go on our hands and our knees and we're gonna do something similar to what we did in our warm up. So we're gonna do those quadruped rocks, but we're gonna have our leg out to the side like a kickstand so we can get some hip um, mobility work in here a little bit more. So we're on the hands and our knees. My left leg right now is out to the side. My heel big toe and little toe are all on the ground so once we're set up in this position we're going to rock back glutes to heels we're going to feel that stretch on the inner part of our hip we're going to squeeze and come back up so we're going to rock through that for a few times hold at the bottom for as long as you need to coming all the way back up putting some more weight on those hands 
Awesome. And one more rubber rat we're rocking back, coming on up. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna do that same thing on the other side now. So now my right leg is out to the side. Heel big toe, little toe on the ground. Core tie back flat, bring the glutes to the heels. Feeling that stretch, opening up the inner part of our hips here. Holding at the bottom for as long as we can. We are slowing down the breath a little bit. Awesome job. Wherever we're at, let's go ahead and do one more here. And back to center. Wonderful. All right, up next, we're gonna go ahead and do some reach throughs to stretch out our back and shoulders here. So I'm gonna take my left arm, reach in through my left, my right arm, my right leg, push the back of the hand to the ground, pull away with the upper back. We're gonna take a big deep breath here. Feeling that upper back expand. And on our next breath, we're gonna take our right hand here. We're gonna wrap it around our body, tucking it into our back hip. And that's gonna help us open up our chest. We want that shoulder pointed towards the ceiling. So we're still getting that stretch right under our shoulder blade. And we're also getting a stretch through the chest and shoulders. So we're gonna take two deep breaths here. Sighing away that tension, slowing down our breath. Last one here. Focusing on longer exhales. We can go ahead and bring that right hand back under our shoulder and then the left hand. And now we're gonna do that same thing on the other side. So this time left, right, right arm. Oh my goodness, sorry. I'm, I'm really bad at right and left if you didn't already know, but I did get all the timing right today. So I should get, you know, I'm proud of myself for that. Okay, so we're doing the right arm through the left arm, the left leg, push that hand into the ground, pull away with the upper back. Head is on the ground. Big deep inhale into the chest. Slowly exhaling. And after that first breath, we're gonna take the left hand, wrapping it around our bodies, shoulder towards the ceiling, and hand is gonna be inside of the hip. Nice, big, deep breath. Slowly exhaling. Getting that heart rate down. And one more breath here. And once we finish that exhale, we can bring our hands back under our shoulders. And that is gonna be all the time I have for y'all today. So thank you so much for joining me for today's exercise with Exos. I had a good time, that was a good workout. It's always fun to mix it up and spell different words. So if you have any suggestions of any other words I should spell for next week, let me know. More than happy to um, take suggestions for that. Um, as always, we do have, um, yes, I know, no burpees today. <laughs> always a good feeling. Um, so then later on today, um, well, we do have dance class right after this if you'd like to get your dance on before the end of lunchtime. Um, and then we do have another stretch break at 2.30 with Luis, as well as abs core and mobility with Brittany at 4.30. And then um, we do have our step challenge coming up starting on July 12th. Registration does open on Monday. So don't miss out on that. It's gonna be really fun. We have some fun prizes coming up for that as well. And then we do also have our virtual blood drive happening. So you still can sign up through the end of the month, schedule that appointment and donate before June 30th to be counted for your office to win a fun prize. Again, more prizes. Yay. Love that. Um, but you can always ask us if you have any questions, check us out on Slack and um, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their day and I'll talk.